Hello, everyone. Welcome to Live at Lunch. I'm Maggie DeRosiers in for Carmen today. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris held a press conference this morning discussing the availability of vaccines in the state. More than 70,000 people vaccinated this week alone in Alabama by way of statewide mass drive through sites. Despite a significant surge in vaccinations, it could be some time before additional people are eligible. Dr. Scott Harris says the state is giving all of its vaccine supply as quickly as possible. Seeing the demand, it could be some time before they formally roll out Phase 1C, which includes those with chronic conditions and additional frontline workers. We continue to, uh, to vaccinate at a really high rate over the last four weeks. Even though Alabama got off to a slow start, uh, we are now giving literally everything we can give. And so I, I think for the past four weeks, we've done as good a job as anybody uh, in the country in terms of getting out the vaccine that we've been receiving. The state will consider rolling out the next phase when the vaccine uptake begins to lag across the state. President Biden is meeting today with a bipartisan group of governors and mayors to discuss how to get more support to their communities to fight the pandemic. It comes on the same day the CDC is expected to release long-awaited guidelines for reopening schools. Naomi Rutchum reports. For red zone schools that don't regularly test, the CDC would recommend elementary schools have reduced attendance with mandatory distancing. Well, let's turn to weather for a moment. If you were hoping for the sun today, I'm afraid you may have to wait a little longer. Of our weekend. At least it's going to be warm, though. So hey, I'll take the warm temperatures. I'll take that, too. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> the U.S. Supreme Court says Alabama can't execute a man without his pastor present. That upholds a lower court ruling in favor of Willie B. Smith III. Justice Elena Kagan says a majority of the justices reject safety concerns from the Alabama Department of Corrections. She says Smith has a right to practice his religion, including at the moment of his death. Kagan says the Corrections Department can take other security measures, but not bar the spiritual advisor completely. Smith was sentenced to death for killing a woman in 1991. Retail pharmacies are gearing up to start administering COVID-19 vaccines beginning today. The Biden administration announced last week the federal government would start direct shipments of the vaccines to retail pharmacies. A total of one million doses were initially allocated for about 6,500 stores. The majority of the one million doses from the federal retail pharmacy program are going to CVS, Walmart, Walgreens and Rite Aid stores. Those doses are separate from the allocations the federal government sends to each state. In Bay County, another grocery chain is the next to give people more opportunities to get the COVID-19 vaccine. When dixie started administering the Moderna vaccine across select locations in Florida on Thursday, including locations in Panama City and Lynn Haven. The grocery chain will initially offer the free vaccine to healthcare workers, residents and staff in long -term care facilities and seniors 65 and older. When Dixie, our company, and as a store, we're committed to taking care of our customers, not only for groceries, but also to take care of their uh, safety and health. And uh, that's what we're doing today to, to help them out. Governor Ron DeSantis says in a press release last week, he is proud to partner with Winn-Dixie and expand access of the Moderna vaccine. Richardson says approximately 30 appointments are available a day every half hour. Today, Dothan City schools are closed to allow any employees within the school system to get vaccinated. Acting Superintendent Dennis Coe says the closure is a precautionary measure in the event teachers get sick from getting their first shot. The missed day will not need to be made up. Supporters of virtual learning say it keeps students and teachers safe. But opponents say we know more about the virus now and without in-person classing, many students may be falling behind. Ashley Bowerman takes a look at the controversy. That's Ashley Bowerman reporting. The president's goal is to have more than half of U.S. schools reopen at least one day a week for in-person learning by the end of April. 
Well, now the CDC says those quarantining recommendations are only for three months after the final dose. Dr. Wesley Williford with the Jefferson County Health Department says he believes a three-month recommendation is just for safety, saying the CDC is confident in the vaccine's protection for the first three months. But they don't know much about the protection after that. He says since no one has been vaccinated for three months already, researchers are following up with those who are in the vaccine trials, testing their current antibodies to see how long the protection is lasting. I think it's reasonable to, to assume that probably within a year of the first vaccine, you, you may have to get another dose. Dr. Williford says there is also a good chance of needing a booster vaccine for specific variants if they become more dominant than the original virus. Well, the Wiregrass Area Food Bank's Super Bowl canned food drive is underway. WTBY's Ashley Brown joins us live from Southside Walmart in Dothan, where the donations are being collected. Ashley, what does this drive benefit? Maggie. I'm sure everyone will really appreciate any donation. Thanks, Ashley. It's former President Trump's turn. Today, his legal team will offer his defense in his impeachment trial. Still to come today on Live at Lunch, a look at those arguments and also why three Republican senators met privately with Mr. Trump's lawyers when we come back. Welcome back. Tax season is underway. The Internal Revenue Service is now accepting and processing 2020 tax returns. Despite a shorter tax season, the IRS said Thursday it has no plans to extend the standard filing deadline of April 15th. If you will need more time to prepare and file your tax return, you can always request an extension from the IRS. The agency expects more than 150 million tax returns to be filed this year. The average refund in 2020 was about 2,500 bucks. The second impeachment trial of former President Donald J. Trump is moving along quicker than expected. His defense team has begun their arguments, but they're not expected to take long. Chip Reed has more details from Capitol Hill. Once the president's lawyers finish their arguments, senators will have four hours to ask questions of each side before the final vote. Well, let's send it over to the Weather Center now where Amber has a look at your full forecast. I feel bad for you ever since you moved here. It's been rain, rain, rain. You haven't gotten any nice sunshine, any nice weather. Oh, it's okay. I'll take this over snow any day. That's true. You are coming from the north. Well, I, I am. <laughs> thanks, Amber. A lot going on with Troy when it comes to athletics. Carmen Fuentes had the chance to sit down with Kyle George to share some exciting plans, including action on the hardwood this weekend. For the rest of the 10 days, rain sticks around all the way through our weekend. Valentine's Day is looking a little soggy. Now we may see some sun Monday and Tuesday, heading into Wednesday and Thursday though, where our temperatures start to warm up. So we're gonna keep an eye on some stronger storms come Thursday. So rain jackets are a must, maybe stay inside. It really depends, right? It really does. I mean, if you like walking in the rain, just grab an umbrella and head on out there. I guess that could be a kind of calming experience. Get out there, go to the park, get some exercise. Sounds good. I mean, I like this smell of rain, so. I like it too. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> well, if you have a hanker for a hunk of cheese, this one should do. Tillamook is offering this monster what it calls the mother loaf. Beginning Saturday morning, it is a 40 pound block of sharp yellow cheddar cheese. The cost? $112. Tillamook says all of its cheddar product begins as a 40 pound block, which is aged anywhere from two months to a whole decade. If you're after one of these mother loaves, you'll have to act quickly as there's a limited number available. Well, I don't normally get 40 pounds worth of cheese whenever I go cheese shopping, but I'm a huge fan of cheese, so I mean. I mean, I love me some cheese, so. You can't hate on people for doing this. Nope. It sounds like they're just living their best life and they're enjoying their cheese. So, sounds good. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks, Amber, and thank you guys for joining us for Live at Lunch. Our next newscast is First News at 4 on our sister station, WRGX. You're up to date for now. Remember, no matter what time of day, get the latest local news on WTVY.com. Have a great afternoon.